Hello, hello, hello. This is Mercy J representing Splat Kids Creations, and we are bringing to you art and creativity wherever you may be watching this from. With that being said, we are here to create. <laughs> So this is my first show that I'm doing with a family. Um, and we wanted to uh, work on an arts and craft project that we're going to do today. The segment of the show is called Guess What It Is. Um, when I invite the family online, um, they were given the tools that they needed to work on this project, but they don't know what they're making. So we're going to see if they know what it is. Okay, all right. So with that being said, we are welcoming Carolyn, who is mom, and Giselle. Hi, Giselle. Hi, Carolyn. How you doing? Hi, I'm wonderful. How are you? Great. I was actually telling our viewers that um, we were bringing you on the show to. Um, you're my first family. Yay! <laughs> um, and so uh, I just wanted to introduce you guys. First of all, I want to say to everyone, the reason why I I, um, I selected this particular family is because I really admire uh, the relationship these two have. This mother and daughter bond is like none other I've seen. I love um, the mother's uh, very keep it real attitude. Uh, she's very down to earth, but what she instills in her daughter is awesome and inspiring. Um, and, uh, you know, you never know who's watching. Carolyn, I'm always watching you for uh, this, you know, from afar and always admiring your accomplishments and all your wonderful, powerful inspirations that you do. It's real impactful, so it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you. You are welcome. All right, so now, Giselle, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. Wow, okay. What's your favorite hobby? Huh? Reading. Reading? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. What? Okay. Doctor. Nice. Nice. Huh? A pediatrician. Oh, a pediatrician. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I couldn't even say that word at eight years old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Giselle, what was the funnest thing that's happened since you've been home with mommy all the time? Well, <laughs> we just had science. She bought this science kit for me, and now we do science activities every... Every Friday? Yeah, it's every yeah. Friday. Okay, cool. Nice. That's awesome. That's real creative. All right. <clears throat> so now I know I told you all what supplies to get. Uh huh. Do you know what we're making? I don't know what we're making. <laughs> all week, and I'm like, I have no clue. Let's just get the stuff. I was wondering when you were going to ask me this question because <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you. I all right. Was surprised. All right. So Giselle, if you could guess what we're going to make today, what do you think we're going to make? Uh, I think we're making. A smiley face on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're not making a smiley face on the plate. What do you think we're making, Carolyn? I I don't know. I've done so many things with paper plates and pipe cleaners. I've made fish out of them. I don't know. You know, I used to be a kindergarten teacher, so I'm just like, it could be anything. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, what we're making, we are making a butterfly. butterfly. There we go. All right, awesome. So yay. So um, the supplies we have. I got my little lineup. Don't judge me. I just want to make sure. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, where's my spot? Oh, there it is. All right. So we have our paper plate. Um, we have our purple construction paper. Awesome. And then we have our little googly eyes here. I don't know if the camera can see that. And we have our, my pipe cleaners keep falling off of my table. <laughs> we have pipe cleaners. I got to go pick some more. Oh, there they are. Oh, our googly eyes are. All right. So we have our two pipe cleaners. Two? Yeah, we need two. Same color, preferably. There you go. Because they're going to go on your butterfly. We give them the little, you know, thingies. Oh, yeah, his little antennas. Yeah. All right. And then we've got the, of course, the stapler. Now, this stapler, me and this stapler have had some challenges, y'all. <laughs> I got it from the dollar store. And um, yeah, you get what you pay for. It's true. It, yeah, I have to. Um, <laughs> you're going to see when I use it. You're going to see what's going to happen today. It's funny. <laughs> I got to rig it up. Um, Yes, and then we have our tacky glue, which I'm putting this for the cam so people can see. I like tacky glue because it just works better. And I don't feel comfortable like with my son, because I have a seven year old, I don't feel comfortable with him using a hot glue gun. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, because him, we won't, yeah. Yeah, her, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you understand. Yeah, so tacky glue is the next best thing. And adhesive spray is like my best friend too. Um, and then we have the, um, oh, the pom-poms, these things. Pick out 12 colors if you can. I just, to make it easier for me, I just put four, three sets of four. So I had four turquoise ones, four pink ones, and four purples. So set aside 12. They can be any color, right? Yeah, any colors, yeah. All right. You can pick them anyway. Like, like as you see with this butterfly here, mm -hmm. I just picked anything. Okay. Okay. We got 15, we need 12. You know what we don't have in front of us? <clears throat> All right. And then, I don't know if you have a ruler. Well. I do, but I need your marker. I do. Okay. Now, I don't have a ruler because <laughs> my lovely seven-year-old decided to make a, uh, you know, make it a weapon and all kinds of things. Oh, fun. Turned into a whole sword and it broke, nevertheless, him playing with his cousin. So. I use a sharp edge, so you can use any sharp edge. You can, if for the for, uh, viewers that are watching this, if you don't have a ruler, just any sharp edge. I just grab a face paint easel, I mean a little painting easel. You can use an envelope. In fact, when I did this, I used an envelope. Um, just any sharp edge, I just need it for just to mark off the line. And of course, if you have your um, dark colored marker, that'll be awesome too. Got it. That's oh, cool. Everything is rolling off my table today. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> we can. Now let me say my disclaimer <clears throat> because you know you have to explain why you cough. Uh, <laughs> right these days. <laughs> I have allergies, y'all. Been having allergies for years. <laughs> okay. So if I cough, I'm putting in my cough drop. All right. If my cough is not because I got corona, okay. <laughs> That's me in the store. I be trying to hold my cough in. Right. I'm all something. <laughs> These struggle. All right, so you're going to take your plate and you're going to flip it upside down. And you're going to put your ruler on the edge, I mean, on the middle, the edge of it on the in the middle. Okay. All right, and then you're going to take a marker and you're going to go straight down like that. Yeah, this side, yes. Press it up against the ruler and bring it straight down. Oh, snap! Oh, snap. <laughs> She's like, I did it! 
<laughs> All right, now you're going to take it in the middle going across this time. Okay. And you're going to take your marker, and mine look, just look like it just made this little crooked thing. That's all right. You're not going to see this part. All right. Oh, mine look a little off, so, you know. See, this the back part? They're not going to see the back part. All right. So this is the back part. Yeah, this is the back part. So if you mess up, you can do another line, because I just messed up. See, mine look a little off center. So, see, it looked like more like a cross than a, uh, yeah, it ain't. Yeah. Can you see that? Is that dark enough? By the way, while I'm doing this, I want to give a special shout out to Judah Kingdom Life Ministries. Woo -woo! Uh, Pastor Kipton Arrington is the sponsor of this show today. And I just want to thank her so much for uh, sowing seed into our vision of evolving the face paint company into arts and crafts. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can look up Judah Kingdom Life Ministries on Facebook. We do online services via Zoom um, every Sunday at 1 o'clock. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> I know you see that second line. <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't going to say anything about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was off-centered. I was like, that's not right. Okay. Okay, so. And by the way, I, I, I chose to record this way because I wanted people to just to have a realistic viewing of how it happens. It really happens, exactly. All right, yeah, because I am far from perfect. Take your scissors and cut down the middle. All right, here we go. I know, oh, wow. there be. Be careful. Cut down the middle. You got it because your scissors are little wee things. You got to use my scissors. I got grown up scissors. Go ahead. And then, hold oh, on, I'm sorry. And then you're going to take these pieces here. Got it. You're going to cut down whatever line that you put as the center. That's the <laughs> one. <laughs> so you do that when I do this one. My size is going to be better than yours. You got it? Let me see. Okay, it looks good. All right, and you're going to stack them on top of each other. And you may notice, you know, they might, should be, for the most part, the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we're going to set these to the side for now, okay? All right. All right, now, you're going to get your purple construction paper. And you're going to fold it in half. Does it have to be purple? No, whatever color you get. That That's going to be the body here. Red. That's pink. It's going to be the body. So whatever color you get, whatever goes with whatever, however you feel, it's your butterfly. It's your world, girl. It's your world. You can see it. <laughs> All right. And you're going to fold it in half. Yeah. Okay. You're going to take your dark colored marker, mm -hmm. and then you're going to do this little weird shape. So I like thinking of a three, and then... Hmm. Let's yeah. Okay. Can I do this? Yeah. I was going to say, because I don't trust you to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Giselle. Tell her, let you be great. I will. I will let her be great in life, but um, right now. Awesome sauce. All right. Now you're going to take your scissors. Okay. What happened to this marker? And you're going to cut. I've learned through trial and error, cutting on the outside of it looks kind of cool. Because what happened was, I did two butterflies, right? Let me show you what happened. Okay, so this one, you see how it got a little trim? It uh -huh. kind of looks cute. So this one didn't have a trim, and I added it at the last minute. <laughs> okay. Keep but, uh, he been in quarantine. You know, he's quarantined right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have discovered that it's probably a little better to cut on the outside. So you can have a little trim. 
Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because whatever you cut is going to look equal on both sides. You don't know where those are? I feel like that marker is going to run out on us in like 30 seconds. I just shook it. Oh, you shook it. Okay. So shaking markers makes them come back to life. Yeah, 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 shaking markers, yeah. That's a thing. My kid doesn't say that. I'm pretty me, you know. Kid logic. Now, you'll notice that once you cut on the outside that you're not going to have that trim on this side. So, you know, the quick remedy for that is a marker. <laughs> this is my work table, so I can write on my table. So you want the trim on the outside of them? Um, if that's what you choose. I'm, I'm th Again, this is what I like about this. This is the creative part of it. So you can just be creative if you choose on that. You want the trim on it? Do it that way because it looks like this. You gotta have a head. I need to. You have a head. That's okay. That that is totally fine. Mm -hmm. All right. That that's actually cute to be honest because now the next part get your tacky glue. Okay. And your googly eyes, and we're gonna have two dots where you want your eyes to be. All right. So. So what you have in a little heart head? That's gonna be cute. Oh, uh, he does have a heart head, doesn't he? Oh. Your butterfly got a hard hand. <laughs> so you're gonna take your tacky glue, put it there, and then you take your little googly eyes, whatever size you pick, and put them on. Okay. Put them on there. They are cute. <laughs> googly eyes. Hey, awesome. All right, now go ahead and add a little smiley face on him, on her, or whatever this butterfly is to you. Aw. I did a little open mouth if you guys wanted to do that. Give it some character. Give him teeth and everything. Just give him teeth. Okay. Awesome. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Now, we are going to set this aside. Now, you're going to grab those triangle pieces here, the um, little paper plates that you cut, and you're going to keep them stacked. If I don't know what kind of scissors you have. If you have a smaller pair of scissors, you probably want to cut two at a time, but if you can cut all four at the same time, that'll be great. On the same size? No, what you're going to do... You're going to, just so you know the angle we're going to go, we're going to cut across it's like this. Okay. I so these, are going to, these are going to turn into wings. See how the wing part here is cut? So you're going to, I'm going to show you. Okay. The rule of thumb would be, hold on. Well, how, if your paper plate's got ridges, just to cut a little rounded part around the other ridge. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Fix it. <laughs> Again, it does not have to be perfect. As you can see, mine isn't. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. That works. That works. Okay. So now you're going to separate. You have four pieces here. You got four pieces. And so this is how the butterfly wings form, right? You're going to take it and you're going to put your other plate piece like that. See? And you're going to have your other plate piece like that. So you see how that's forming so far? Mm -hmm. See the little butterfly thing going on? All right. Now, here, here's the part about my stapler. <laughs> I want to see this thing. Sadly to say, I have to shake it. Look, I got this from Dollar Tree. You no, know, Dollar Tree, y'all got to do better. This is. You got yours from Dollar Tree? Yeah, this from Publix. I'm about to say, yeah, that don't look like Dollar Tree staple. This. It's only $3. It's a dollar. You know, if you can't do no better, fine, but. I have to, I find myself having to reopen it and shake it every time in between. So you're going to take your stapler. And you're gonna staple. You're gonna put two staples. You're gonna put one here, 
I don't know if you can see that. My camera's not focusing. There you go. And then you kind of take your other stapler and put it here on the edge. Okay, so you're going to do that to the other one. Hey, there you go. Embarrassing me on the like you know what? Okay. This staple boy. I have to keep opening it and adjusting the staples. It didn't work. Oh my gosh. Why wouldn't I just go get another one out of the supply closet? I struggled with him all year long. Yeah, I don't know. And I just, I'm here for the punishment. I'm here for it. Like, I don't know. Okay, so now you're going to take your butterfly pieces. You can see your wings putting like that. Okay. Like this. Yeah, like that. So everyone can see what's happening here. Okay. All right. And you're going to staple again at the bottom. But, you know, of course, this staple wouldn't have it any other way for me to then to adjust it before I staple. So that's one side. And then you're going to do... All right. This is the other side. So top and bottom. Now I'm over here struggling because my safe is so small. Now we have butterfly wings. Oh, butterfly wings. Hold on. We're coming. <laughs> He's so tiny. He is. Goodness gracious. <laughs> the struggle. My goodness. All right. It's the top. Now the bottom. Come on. Uh huh. Top and the bottom. Like here, not that the top and the bottom. Ooh. All, right. All right, hey, that looks good. Hey, Woo. <laughs> that's something. Hey, that that'll work. Okay, so now, of course, you know we have the caterpillar body. The goal is to take the caterpillar body. Wait, I'm stepping ahead of myself. Okay, get your pipe cleaners. Okay. Pipe mm -hmm. All right. And you're gonna take one side and you're just gonna twist it. And then you're gonna take your butterfly body and do it like that. Oh, can you show me that stuff again? Mm -hmm. That stuff again. So you just twist at the top. Yeah, yeah, just twist one side of it. Yeah, it's two of them together. Look. Not all the way, just the bottom part, yeah. See, the rest of it's all loose. You have to put these two. And you're going to take your, stick this in the butterfly body like that in between. Put this in between that. And then you're going to just twist it a little bit there. And you're going to take the little, this little piece and you're going to curl it with your hands. Part you were doing. So now, that I've twisted, you curl them down. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's how you were doing it before. Oh, then you have this. Nice. 
Oh, I feel like I got the wrong tin light there. Okay. All right. So now, now that we have that set, if you find that the body's a little loose, you may want to kind of tighten it a little bit because you're going to have to glue this little guy on there. And how you do that, you take some glue and put it on, on here and along the caterpillar body. I'm on here. And here. And it's helpful that it has that crease because that way you're able to kind of press down on all that glue. That. Yeah. That's looking good, Giselle. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So uh, before we do the finishing touches, um, I just wanted to share with Giselle and the viewers at home, some quick facts about butterflies. All right, so bear with me, hold on for one moment. So it's a little quick uh, two minute video, a little less than two minutes. All right, and I'm gonna be back with you in about one to two minutes. All right, that way I just give the glue the chance to dry. Butterflies. Butterflies are insects that can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Scientists think there could be as many as 20,000 species of butterflies. Butterflies are unique animals because they aren't born looking like their adult forms. At first, they're just caterpillars. Once they've grown as much as they can, caterpillars attach themselves to a twig or leaf before shedding their outside layer of skin. This reveals a hard skin underneath known as a chrysalis, or cocoon. While it's wrapped up, the caterpillar begins to change. Eventually, it becomes an adult butterfly, emerges from its chrysalis, and flies away. Butterflies have four wings that are actually made up of tiny scales covered in all kinds of colorful geometric patterns. They flap those pretty wings about five times every second. Butterflies can see the colors red, green, and yellow, which helps them to find the best flowers. But did you know they can also see some colors that we humans can't see? Most butterflies eat nectar from flowers, and they taste that food with their feet. Just like bees, butterflies are important because they help pollinate different plants, flowers, and vegetables. Butterflies are awesome! What's your favorite thing about butterflies? Thanks for watching! Alright, so that was my little video. Cool. I didn't know they could see colors we couldn't see. That was kind of interesting. Anyway. They can only see three colors. And I was like, what? That's it? That's terrible. <laughs> like, that's interesting. All right. So now, for the finishing touches, now that that glue had a little chance to kind of stick a little better, we're going to add three dots of where you want your pom poms to go. On the same wing? Mm hmm. Well, three dots in each wing. I'm sorry. Three dots in each wing of where you want your pom-poms to go. And then, and then you just put your colors on it. But I noticed that you have to, when you put them on there, it's helpful when you just kind of press down. Press down. Mm -hmm. 
Here, like just your little pattern, you know, to give her a little butterfly, a little razzle dazzle. Yes, maybe so. <laughs> okay, make sure you push them down because they um, have a tendency to kind of take a little bit to attach itself to the glue. Sparkly one. lot of pinks. Is your butterfly a boy or a girl? It is a girl. A girl? Yeah. A girl? You got to give her a name. What's her name? Her name is... Hmm. Oh, I can't oh. wait to hear this one. Go ahead. Her name is Red Cinnamon. Mm. Who? Red Cinnamon. Red Cinnamon. Red, yes. Well, mine is, well, wait, you said red cinnamon. Then mine should be cotton candy. <laughs> Actually, I want to call her Francis. I don't know. This looks like Francis. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It just, I don't know. It just felt right. She got red cinnamon. Yeah, because she has red wings and her body is red. When my daughter was smaller, my um, she's 12 now, sad. But when she was little, she wanted to be named Garlic. I do not know why she wanted to be named Garlic. She wanted her name to be Garlic. Yeah, she said she wanted her name to be Garlic. She thought at four years old that that was a pretty name. <laughs> Yeah, that one we had to pray for her a lot. Um, but yes, so you are all done, Giselle. You have a butterfly. Let me see. Yay! It looks so beautiful. I had so much fun with y'all, just helping create and designing and talking and getting to know you all better. And I know the viewers enjoy watching you all. Um, it has been a pleasure. If there are any other families that want to be on the show to do an arts and craft project with me, I am available. I will put all my information in our post. Um, this will be seen on YouTube and Facebook, so you'll see all the information on how to contact me to be on the show. But I enjoyed you, Carolyn, Giselle. You guys are awesome. Stay blessed, stay safe. And until next time, I'll be tuning in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? All right. All right. Have a great day. Enjoyed you all.